Rachna Chandra. My brand is Taj Cottage. How Taj Cottage was born was in 2005 out of my garage where I was raising my two kids and wanted to have something, a fashion dream, an entrepreneur and a passion for fashion since my teenage years. So I started this brand out of my garage where I was sewing and designing my own things and now we produce in India at a different level. But it started out of my garage and we went to New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, and now we have a storefront in Michigan, Farmington Hills. And you can find us on our website, tajcottage.com. So Taj Cottage designs for outfits for any ethnicities. It could be an Indian ethnic bridal wear or a contemporary. My niche is mostly Indian bridals and fusion pieces and contemporary, where I have the Western silhouettes and Indian embroidery and nice rich Indian textiles put together for something which is more comfortable if you are not the bride, but you can still wear one. The collection which we are presenting on the runway is about the cuts and how the materials flow. So I have used some Georgette chiffons as well as some Lycra. So you would see a lot of flowy material on the runway and it has been beautifully embroidered and delicately embellished with beads, sequins, and some silk threads. So it's mostly of pastel or light color, a cream, a vanilla kind of a color theme, but it's, it's just gorgeous. So Taj Cottage, I brought it up in 2005 thinking that I am from India and I wanted to bring my heritage and culture back in America where I belong to and I started my life here. So this is my home country now. And I started this uh, with the name of Taj Mahal. So this is where the city I belong to and Taj came from there and cottage, I named it. So I would have a society, basically a community I was trying to create of people or especially women who would like to wear my outfits and feel comfortable, motivated and empowered. To young designers who would are aspiring or looking forward to create a brand, 
first thing is you really have to work hard. There's no shortcuts. People think it's easy money, but it's not. <laughs> and you have to really be consistent, basically. Be consistent and be true to yourself and true to your customers. It's very, very easy to make a quick money and have a customer which is not happy with you, but they won't come back. So I believe totally in a great quality product, great customer service, and make your customers happy.